What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ryan and it's great to have you guys on. Now, uh, we're just going to jump right into this episode. It was a question asked by one of my viewers and uh, his name is uh, Dream, Dream Tanner. Uh, there's an apostrophe up there, so I, I'm, I'm just going to say Dream Tanner. And um, his question was in reference to one of my videos where I did another response for someone else um, who was asking if I would purchase a Chevy Avalanche for 12 grand. So uh, his question is, I have a 2006 Chevy Avalanche Z71. Do you have any suggestions or videos for RV slash camper type traveling for this vehicle? Yes. Now, um, I am going to let you know right now, straight up off the top, there is a video of someone actually pulling a 30-something foot trailer on his Chevy Avalanche. And I will link that in this video and in the description below so you yourself can watch the video and get a ton of information. It's actually a really interesting video and it's not that long and there's a ton of information on it. So I suggest you watch that. Now, me personally, would I do something like that? No because there's a lot of strain. Now, if it was a 2500 series Avalanche, you, it didn't tell me if you had a 25 or a 15, but if it's a 15, that's like really pushing it and there is chances of things going wrong. Now, in the video that I'm gonna link in the description below, um, the guy didn't seem to have any issues. The only issues I think he had was sometimes the transmission temp would go a little bit higher or I think his, uh, his coolant temp would go a little higher. I forgot which one, but um, he ended up doing some research and the AC Delco, the uh, Dex Cool um, coolant apparently uh, is meant to go at some high temperatures. I forgot the exact info, so don't quote me on it, but um, I will link the video in it so you can watch it for yourself. Now, personally, I would not pull a trailer like that or a camper. Can it do it? Yes. Um, is there problems that may happen and occur later on down the road? Yes, because you're pulling a lot of strain on that 4L60E and that, which is a transmission in case you're not 100% sure, um, but the 4L60E is a transmission and it's probably not meant to pull that much. Um, I did do a video talking about how much the Avalanche can tow and I can link that in the description as well for y'all to watch. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't push it with that limit now this guy he i forgot he drove a, a good few hours away like several hours with that camper and it made it to where it had to go um and his truck was like in in it was like a work truck it was like 200 and something thousand miles um it needed some work done because there's oil leaks on it the body's in a little rough shape so it needs a paint job stuff like that but that doesn't really mess with the performance of the vehicle but anyway um, yes, yeah, so, I don't know if you, like, I wouldn't, me personally, I would not do it. That's all I want to tell you. I would not do it. You can take your chance and do whatever you would like to do. Um, you can, you can experiment and see if you can do it. That guy took his chance and it clearly worked for him with a little bit of iffiness along the way. But me personally, again, I would not do it to mine. I'd probably get a diesel or something, or at least upgrade to the 2500 series Avalanche. Those seem to have a very heavy pulling capacity because that comes with the 8.1, I believe, in it. Um, and I'm not sure if the transmission is the same on that. Let me double check. Okay, so on the 2500 series, it happens to be a 4L80E. But there's also forums talking about people actually putting Allison transmissions in, which are really good transmissions. Um, so, yeah, if you do something sick like that, you be set. But, uh, yeah, I hope this answered your questions, Dream Tanner. Um, if you have any more questions left, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If any of you guys viewing have any questions for me, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will make sure to get to them just for y'all. And... Also, if you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification at its side. And also, make sure you hit that like button as well because it helps out my channel grow as well as 
bring me to the top for the YouTube algorithm. So I appreciate everything that you guys do and I really appreciate that you guys view this. So thank you very much and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.